Hello, my name is James, and today I'd like to show you how we support basic software in Autosell Blockster. What is basic software? We can see here we have a simulant model which has four components in it. Each is defined separately in its own model and referenced here. These components communicate with each other via the RTE, in this case represented by signal connections. Basic software is a set of standardised functionality shared between components, accessible through the RTE. Autosell Blockset currently supports three areas of basic software. The Diagnostic Event Manager, which enables the reporting and querying of diagnostic events. The Function Inhibition Manager, which allows the inhibition of blocks of functionality based on the diagnostic events mentioned previously. And the NVRAM Manager, which allows the read and write to non-volatile memory. Each of these is described by a highly detailed specification. So our goal is to make it as simple and intuitive as possible to work within the simulink environment. We recently added to the functionality of our DEM and FIM tools in our 2020A. These blocks are flexible in their usage, and they lend themselves to numerous simulink modeling applications, which you might be familiar with already. Here we can see a function inhibition query being used to enable a subsystem, a comparison to a baseline driving an event monitor, a read from NVRAM writing to a data store within an initialized subsystem, and an operation cycle which is being driven by a pulse signal. This modeling flexibility shows through in the generated code. We can see here the same calls to basic software appearing seamlessly within the code. In order to simulate and validate these blocks within Simulink, we need an implementation for these calls. We provide this using service component blocks which you can find in the Simulink block library. Taking a look inside the diagnostic service component, we can assign IDs to client ports across our calling components so they can refer to the same underlying events, functions and operation cycles. We have some options to manage event debouncing, and we also have a tab to configure the function inhibition criteria. Now we can see that our model simulates and that a fault is reported through basic software and the system is able to react also using basic software. On a final note, we are always interested in feedback from our users. So now that you've seen the capabilities of basic software in Autosub Blockset, please let us know or leave a comment if there are any future enhancements which you'd like to see in this area. Thank you.